Ron Matz is live at Sagamore Distillery. Where they're celebrating their first year of operation. I remember, Ron, when it was announced Sagamore was going to start making rye. Yes. We're going to build a distillery down on the water. Everybody went, really? Where? Now we know where. Take it away. <laughs> Now we know where, and it's been a big success in the first year. They're celebrating here in Port Covington, the Sagamore Spirit Distillery. Brian Tracy is the president of the distillery. How you doing? Great. Let's talk about one year. What's it been like down here? It's been fun. It's been really fun. A lot of activity. A lot of people have come out and seen us. We've seen over 30,000 people in the first year. That, um, that is truly amazing. 30,000 people have come through to do the tours yeah. in a year. Yeah, it's been great. People have been great. Very, uh, people have really liked the tour. Uh, we're getting a lot, of, a lot of good press on social media and so forth. So people get a chance to come down. Obviously, we've got our one-year anniversary, April 21st, that weekend. All weekend, we'll be celebrating. Um, but book today your tours. They're going to fill up. Um, so there is a cost for the tours, but there's also lots of fun, free activities, too. We'll have food trucks. We'll have games. We'll have live music. Lots of great stuff going on that weekend. That's April 21st, a week from Saturday. Correct. All right, very good. Let's talk about the product here because you are all across the country now, right? We are all across the country. Um, and with that, we'll be celebrating tomorrow, Friday the 13th, is our celebration of all things rye whiskey. So not only in Baltimore, but other markets, we'll be out in the market, our local favorite tub, uh, pubs, taverns, and so forth, and celebrating uh, the new spring cocktails like the Black Eyed Rye and so forth. I was reading uh, a Baltimore Business Journal article. And I understand now that on TripAdvisor, you guys are like the top or next to the top attraction, I guess, with the aquarium in Baltimore? We've become number two thing to do in Baltimore. So um, we're very flattered. We're, we're, we're thrilled with that. Um, but again, you know, the folks have been coming out here. Uh, we're expecting even more this year. So we're really excited about year two. 30,000 people in the first year. Let's talk about the tours. You get to see everything, I guess. You do. You do. You get to uh, see how we make it, learn the story on why we're doing rye whiskey and what makes our product unique and different. And, of course, it wouldn't be a tour without being able to taste at least three of our award-winning whiskeys at the end. So kind of the highlight at the end. And then, you know, we have a great visitor center where you can learn about the history of distilling in Maryland and some great uh, merchandise as well. Once again, let's uh, give us the website because they urge you to register online. The tours fill up quickly. They do, especially on the weekends. So sagamorespirit.com. Um, uh, you can also follow us on Instagram and at, at Sagamore Spirit, Facebook, Twitter as well. And so you can learn about updates and so forth there as well. Brian, thank you. Always good to see you. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Our pleasure. Okay, one year already for the Sagamore Spirit Distillery. 30,000 people through the doors. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, we're live in Port Covington. Lynn Marty, back to you on TV Hill. Have a great day. It'll be interesting to see Port Covington in 10 years. Definitely, definitely. What will it look like? It's going to look like something spectacular. Mm -hmm.